Hi guys, right on this tutorial what we're going to be doing is going to uh, get all the add-ons set up for Kodi. So we will be getting Genesis and uh, Turk TV. Uh, Genesis will allow you to get a load of free movies and a huge amount of uh, box set videos, things like that. And uh, Turk TV will allow you to stream TV from uh, all different channels from around the world. So what we need to do is go to Programs. And as you saw then, it was, uh, I think we've gone on to program add-ons. Yeah, we had. So if, if this screen shows the little button, buttons up here, there's two little dots. And if you can either double click on that, or you can click the little arrow at the bottom. And uh, so this is the main screen of programs. Now here we want to add source. So I'm going to click on add source and it comes up with this screen. Now this first bar here, this allows us to type in, um, Address. So what I need you to type in is http colon forward slash forward slash fusion that's f u s i o n dot tv add ons dot ag going to read that back out it's http colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv add-ons dot ag and then all we do is click done now i'll also be putting a, a link to that in the uh, in the pdf step-by-step -step guide and on the website now at the bottom here it says enter a name for this media source so in there we can just put fusion And click done. Click OK. And there it is. So right now down at the bottom we'll click on the little home symbol. And then if we scroll oops, sorry, down to system, we're gonna go to settings. And here the the option here is add-ons. So we'll click on that. And then We've got all these here, what we need to do is go to install from zip file. So we click on that. And at the top, you should have the option that says Fusion. If you don't, then what you'll need to do is close that down. Go back to System, go to File Manager, Add Source, and add another one. Um, that's if it's not there. I mean, like I said, I've come into the file manager and I can see Fusion's there. However, if it wasn't, for whatever reason, um, you can just go to add source and add it again. So I'm just going to go back. So we go to system, add-ons, install from zip file. I'm going to go to Fusion. And then we're going to go to start here. And we're going to get the plugin program add on installer. We're going to click on that. We just need to give it a moment. Now, if you keep a look around here, we should get a little pop up once it's downloaded and installed it. And the add on installer it's normally takes a little bit longer than the other ones, but not a huge amount of time. add-on installer, add-on enabled. So now what we can do is we can go to the little home button down here. Okay, so then we need to go to programs and here you'll now have add-on installer. If you click onto that you'll get this the first time where it just creates a little file allocation in the SD card and you'll get this selection here. So here is the uh, video add-ons so we're going to click onto that now where uh, we've got prime wire or one channel that's pretty good for getting videos there's quite a few i'm just going to see if uh, the one i'm going to go through installing with you is genesis it's probably the best one it's not on the first page so what we'll do is we'll go back 
search. We just type in Genesis. That's G E N E S I S. Click done. And then it looks like that. So we click onto that. And then we click onto it again to install it. So are you sure? And we click install. And it will begin the download progress. Uh, progress. Finalizing the install scripts. And it will also automatically get all the additional scripts and files that it needs for it to run correctly. So your selection has been installed, so we can click OK. And then we can click to the home. And then if we scroll over on the bar to videos, we go to add-ons. And now we've got Genesis and YouTube. So if we click on Genesis, and we've got the options for movies, TV shows. So if we click on movies, and we've got all the different options on how you want to go uh, to actually choose your your film and then we've got a search bar as well so what we could do is we can go for most popular and what have we got so obviously here an awesome film we've got Mad Max so we can click onto that You might fi may find that yours runs a lot quicker than this. My internet here is really, really slow. And the problem I also get with that is I get a lot of uh, it saying at the bottom, no links available. That's because it, my internet's just not getting a signal back quick enough. Let's try it again. Just to show that it is working, I often have more luck with. Um, let's see. Right. Sorry, it's doing add on, it's updating itself down at the bottom, that's why it's kicked us out. So, video add ons, Genesis, movies, featured. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit more success this time around. I think it's because it was updating. Maybe it wasn't my internet. So we'll click on Mad Max. And now it's loaded up with a load of links. Now my internet is no way good enough to download a, a 1080p um, or actually a HD. So all you'll need to do now is you'll need to click on one of these and that should automatically begin to load the program. What I'm going to do is just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, grab a low quality one. Although I found some of the low quality ones aren't that bad. Now sometimes it will say that uh, there's no links available. Um, just click on another one and you should find that it loads up. You can see it's working. And 
you're watching a movie. So just to show you quickly, we'll uh, go back to TV shows and I'll scroll down to the bottom, search um, Family Guy, quite a popular one. I've noticed if you don't search the, um, the exact words on this search function, um, it often will just go back to this menu. Working. And shortly there you go, there's your family guy. So you click into there and then you'll get your links for your different seasons and you'll click into the links to actually watch, watch the video. So that's your box sets as well. So what we'll do is just refresh. So it's videos, add-ons. Genesis, and then you go into it. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get Turks TV so we can start getting some uh, some uh, some live TV on the go. So we need to go back to File Manager and we need to go and get another source. So we're going to go to here again, and this time. We are going to type in http colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot metal kettle dot co. So that's http colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot metal kettle.co and then we can click done and we'll just give this a name of metal kettle just so we know which one it is and we'll click done click ok and now we know it's there look so we can click down to that And then we're going to go to System, we're going to go to Add-ons, now if you're on this screen, you just need to go to the top, double click the top and it'll come back to here, and then we'll go to Install from Zip File, we'll click on Metal Kettle, and then here you've got repository.metalkettle-1.5.1.zip, that number may change but it's that one repository, repository metal kettle. Double click into that. Just need to give that a minute. And you can see down at the bottom right, metal kettle add ons, repository add on enabled. I'm just going to give that a second just to see if it does download some updates. Genesis is a big one, so it generally has to do quite a few updates at the beginning. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Get Add-ons. Down here, we're going to go to Metal Kettle's Add-on Repository. going to go to video add-ons, I'm sorry double click into it, and then we're going to scroll down until we find UK Turk live streams, there we are, uh, all this yeah, UK Turk playlists, so we're just going to click into that come to this screen we're going to click install you'll know you're on the right one because you get this Turkish delight um, chocolate bar image and as you can see now it says UK Turk playlist enabled so that's all done 
So now we can close that down. We can scroll over to videos, go to add on. <coughs> now we've got Genesis and UK Turk playlists. So we're going to click onto that. And there you get a list of all your different things. So you've got English TV, sports, classic movies, classic TV shows, classic cartoons, documentaries, stand-up comedy, radio, world CCTV, Turkish TV, Turkish movies, ten channels. So I'm just going to click on to English TV. And uh, as you're... Uh, I'm going to click on BBC One HD, as I'm sure you're all a massive fan. I'll go on HQ because of my internet, but now you may find some of these don't work or um, they take a little while to load up. It totally depends on your internet connection and if you can get a, a solid stream. Just need to know where he was the night Jim and Anna Briggs died. There we are. Live TV through your Raspberry Pi. I know exactly where he was. I'm just going to click stop to that. back to the home screen so that is that guys that is your Raspberry Pi set up onto uh, sorry your Kodi set up onto your Raspberry Pi we've got Kodi all the back end settings set up uh, we've got two awesome add-ons Genesis and Tech TV should be ready to go now really now if you've got any problems or you had any problems please go to the forum on the website and post your problems and we'll see if we can help you with any of those but hopefully you've had uh, great success and it's all working for you now in the next tutorial we're going to look at getting a control for your raspberry pi because obviously you're not probably not going to want like your keyboard and the mouse tied up to it so what we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, an app for well i'm going to give some links um for an app called yast which is free and you can buy a premium version um which i did I mean, it was like a couple of quid, I think. And for what it does, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll do the same. I think it all works fine. I don't believe you get any add on uh, any adverts. You just don't have full functionality of a couple of things. Uh, but it all worked fine. The free version, um, which is always nice. But you, when you use it, you'll see that someone's putting a, a huge amount of work into getting this work, and it's awesome. So what I'll do is I'll go through. Uh, I'll do a little post on the website. So check that out under remote. And uh, then we'll get you up and ready on that. Cheers, guys.